Hello, I'm Stephen Wolfram, and uh, here we are as we start to uh, get ready to try and launch Wolfram Alpha, make it live for the first time. Um, so this project, uh, you know, there's this idea, see if we can make the world's uh, knowledge computable, and that's a kind of a high-minded idea, and you know, you start off with all the kind of theory and formal stuff and so on, and at the end of it, you're dealing with compute clusters and networks and wiring, and all sorts of other things. And pe people said to me, that sounds like a really complicated project. And uh, I've been saying for a while, no, no, it's really a doable project. But uh, as we've tried to, tried to pull things together uh, in the last few days, as we sort of get ready to, to launch the system, uh, I start to, to realize it actually is a pretty complicated project that we've been doing. So uh, we're, we're, our plan has been uh, to try to go live for the first time tonight, um, to test the system through the weekend, and officially to launch Wolf Mouth uh, as a public web service um, by Monday. Um, and uh, so lots of complicated things have been going on. Um, and uh, we're actually here in central Illinois. And uh, one of the final things that has gone wrong is that there is a, uh, a tornado watch. And I just heard a, a thunderclap outside. Um, so uh, hopefully that will not uh, disrupt things here. I know earlier uh, the building that we're in, which uh, is the location of um, uh, one of our compute clusters um, was having, uh, the, we were drawing too much power, the voltage had gone down, all sorts of fun with that. But anyway, the, the, so the status of things has been, um, we were, uh, uh, we've actually just pushed in the last few minutes uh, the final version of the Mathematica code that drives Wolfram Alpha. Uh, the, uh, one of the things that will be happening as Wolfram Alpha develops over the, over the time to come is we'll be continuously building new versions and rolling them out. So we have a process for doing that, and the version that will be the one that we'll be using to uh, to our go live test uh, was just pushed out and deployed, uh, I believe, to uh, to all of our compute clusters, and that finished a, a few minutes ago. So um, as we've been getting things set up, we've been gradually putting online uh, more and more powerful compute resources, um, and uh, we've had uh, lots of interesting things go on. We, we just brought online in the last couple of days uh, the second of kind of our supercomputer class compute clusters, um, and uh, this allowed us to do some uh, more rigorous testing. We have been, uh, we've been doing tests within one compute cluster and getting uh, fantastic performance. Uh, kind of the, the, the measure of success is how many QPS how many queries per second uh, we can achieve. And we were getting really good QPS values um, as we tested uh, uh, queries going from uh, one node inside one of our clusters to other nodes within that cluster. Um, we finally had a chance to, um, uh, as part of sort of the, the final provisioning of things, to test one sort of supercomputer cluster against so another one. Now, of course, there were other, other issues as well from what we were doing with, um, uh, with our uh, compute clusters and so on. This caused some of the databases that contain uh, some of the data uh, that exists in Wolfram Alpha, it caused some of those to, to back up and not be replicated as fast as they should have been. So we were, we were behind in replicating data to some nodes. We'll have to determine whether that's been resolved also. Um, and uh, then there are all kinds of other minor issues. Um, as I say, uh, uh, people, people said to me, this is a really complicated project that you're doing. And uh, I thought that was mostly at the beginning about uh, all the kind of uh, formal theoretical stuff, but uh, at the end, to make a project like this real, it comes down to clusters and networks and, uh, and uh, web servers and all these kinds of things. And, and that's sort of where we're at uh, here. Um, we've, uh, one thing about uh, sort of the team as we've been um, developing this project, we've had a, a very talented, very eclectic team of people working on this with lots of different, uh, lots of different kinds of expertise. And one thing that's, that's uh, curious about this team is that it's mostly distributed kind of all over the world. Um, but uh, as we try and sort of finally uh, go live for the first time, we've, we've uh, brought uh, uh, large parts of the team actually to one place. And it's actually very unusual for all of us to be, to be working in such a way that we can actually see the person we're working with and uh, kind of uh, be in the same space as them. Um, but that's, that's what we're doing right now as we try and sort of integrate things and, and bring things live. Well, um, I actually have to go and figure out um, uh, what's happening. And so um, uh, our plan for, um, uh, for this webcast has, is that uh, we have um, uh, two people who will be kind of uh, uh, guiding the webcast. Um, uh, one of them is uh, Theo Gray, my uh, longtime colleague, co-founder of uh, Wolfram Research. 
um, and uh, he'll be uh, uh, he'll be joined by Max Whitby, who's a scientist and filmmaker uh, from England, who will be helping to, uh, uh, I hope, tell you all what's going on and uh, explain things. So I will be back with you soon, but I have to go off and find out what is actually going on. Thank you, Steve. Um, well, good evening. Uh, um, uh, thank you, first of all, for waiting. We were a little bit later than the 7 o'clock that we promised. Um, that was partly due to... Uh, events beyond our control with tornadoes rolling towards us excitingly here and uh, it's been quite a day too hasn't it quite a day yes um, and I th uh, we've been told there apparently are some problems with the audio that it's difficult to understand uh, and that there's some background noise now part of that background noise is the thunder that we're all hearing through uh, through the windows uh, but we're also working on the audio, audio quality and hope to have things uh, worked out Soon. But so, um, everyone, I guess, can see behind us uh, uh, a control room which is fairly reminiscent of uh, the space missions. Um, it's a very beautiful control room, if I do say so. Okay. Um, I wonder if you could um, give us um, some indications of what the functions are for all the different people who are sitting here. Um, um, let's uh, yep. start, if we may, um, in the right hand corner here behind you. Uh, that's the um, load testing. And I think Stephen mentioned load testing is a important moment. Yeah, so load testing is basically before we go live, we need to make sure that when we do go live, we'll be able to handle the volume of queries. And uh, the way to make sure uh, that we can handle it, of course, is to create artificial load, um, basically using one supercomputer cluster to create queries for the other one. Um, and that's a, an ongoing activity that is a very exciting when it works and when it doesn't work. Well, let's just take a step or two backwards and um, what actually are we trying to achieve in, in going live? I mean, what's the, what's the fundamental process that needs to occur? At the moment, if somebody goes to Wolfram Alpha, they get a message saying, uh, launching soon. Uh, what's going to happen tonight? Well, the idea is instead of getting a message saying, you know, you know sorry, you can't use Wolfram Alpha, you'll actually get the live Wolfram Alpha, which means you'll be in direct contact with um, one or more of our uh, clusters of compute servers. We have uh, five separate locations, each with a cluster of different sizes of um, and different numbers of servers. Um, and, you know, theoretically, when we, when we flip the switch, you're actually going to be able to start doing real calculations, which means we have to have everything needed for that working and working at the level that the number of people that, you know, that we're expecting are going to be able to do it. Okay, now, um, just in, in case that um, uh, we do get uh, a power cut in this building, which is, uh, I think, not impossible for this part of the world, um, uh, Especially not when there's tornado warnings and uh, obviously visible thunderstorms rolling through. Okay, we've got a very uh, dramatic flash of lightning out of the window uh, just there now. Um, uh, there is, I believe, quite a sophisticated uh, backup system for the power in this building. And um, uh, uh, yes, well, th theoretically, we could pull the plug on this building, and everything would just keep working without a hitch. Um, uh, we we were kind of hoping that the weather a few days ago would test this for us uh, by shutting down most of the city and, and and confirming that in fact all of the backup systems are in fact operational. Okay, well let's see if we can cue the uh, cue the visit that we paid to the battery system. 